Hello Twin Flames and welcome to this reading. So this is a pick a pile for you and we're going to tune into the energy of your person and see what's going on. So thank you for being here and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I promised you a three part series today and this is part three. So we're going to do a pick a pile. So I've got three beautiful wolves here and wolves are connected with higher consciousness. So we've got the white wolf for pile one. We've got this wolf for pile two and we've got this wolf for pile three. So we've got the white wolf, the, the grey wolf and the darker wolf. Which wolf are you being guided to? There's no right or wrong in a pick a pile. So if you guide it to all three piles, there'll be messages in all three piles. If you guide it to one, that's great. If you guide it to more than one, go where you guide it to go. You're in charge in a pick a pile. And I'm going to use various decks of cards. I'll put them in the description box, but I'm going to tap in and tune in. So I want to use the animal cards because I really want to see what animal is guiding your twin right now. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know for pile one? What do we need to know for pile one? There we go. What do we need to know for pile two? And for pile three, what do we need to know? Thank you. Wow. We're going to use the journey of love by Bridget Rowe. What do we need to know for pile one? Thank you. What do we need to know for pile two? Wow. There it is. Okay. And what do we need to know for pile three? Here we go. Wow. Okay. What do we need to know, please, for pile one? For pile one, what do we need to know? There we go. I'm also connecting with your energy as well as you're tapping into your person. What do we need to know for pile two and for pile three? Amazing, okay. What do we need to know for pile one? What do we need to know for pile one? For pile two, what do we need to know? Wow, that jumped out there. And for pile number three, there we go. I'm going to finish with the psychic tarot. What do we need to know for pile one? For pile two and for pile three. Wow, just noticed as well, I've got a Celtic tarot one here. Wow, look at that. I've got to bring that out first of all because that was just um, stuck in there. And I do that sometimes. I mix the decks up when I'm using a Laura Dexa card. So we've got their rejuvenation. So for every pile right now, your person is being rejuvenated, restoring in the light of the sun. And that's you, Divine Feminine. You are the sun, you are the warmth, you are what fills them up inside. So you're restoring them. So this is a huge sign that your masculine is gaining the strength to do what they need to do to move forward, to communicate, to move into union, to leave things behind. Really powerful. So we've got then pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So all I need you to do is pick your pile, and here we go. Okay, so I'm going to move these out of the way, and we're going to start then with pile one at 3.15. Welcome, pile one. So you've chosen the white wolf here, so a lot of clarity coming into your masculine situation. So, wow, look at this. We've got the seagull and that signifies freedom. And I love this because the seagull has been a real totem lately for the divine feminine, helping you to feel free, to spread your wings and fly away. Well, right now, the seagull is around your masculine, helping them to free themselves of anything that's dragging them down, any other people any karmic situations, whether that be a situation they are in romantically or a job or a family situation, but they're being guided towards freedom. The seagull teaches us to enter new pathways and roads that will move us towards our destination. So your masculine right now is being moved towards their destination and their destination is you because all paths lead home. So they're being guided now towards the right road, the right pathway to find their way home. This is the king of the sky and the king of the sea. The seagull can teach us about love and emotions in particular to remind us of our freedom to break away from others. So your masculine is breaking away from others. So this is them moving away from those situations that karmic thing that doesn't serve them anymore. They're breaking away from the crowd. They're not dulling anymore. You know, they're sparkle. And Divine Feminine, this is showing you to shine your light even brighter right now so they can follow you and shine their light because you're an inspiration to them. 
So your masculine is inspired by you. And they're learning about love. They're learning about their emotions. They're learning about the way they feel. And they need to realize that if anything's doing them harm, they need to move away. We've got, look at this partnership. It's always been you. So your masculine is saying to you, it's always been you. It doesn't matter where I've gone, what I've done, who I've spent time with. It's always been you. And I know this in my heart and I'm learning this about my love and emotions for you. So your masculine is showing you the partnership is real and you're coming together. We've also got the Queen of Cups. So that's you there, Divine Feminine. That's how your masculine sees you. Very psychic, intuitive, very loving and kind, very caring and open. And this is why they fell in love with you. They fell in love with you because you're their one. But this is why they love you. Because you're kind and generous. You're loving. You search for what you want. You're very deep and knowledgeable. But you're also passionate and caring and kind. So you've got this intensity within you that they crave. So you could be a water sign. And if you are, it's an extra sign for you there. But this is showing you the power of the love. And we've got confidence as your key to success. So your masculine right now is gaining confidence to move towards success, to do something about this. We've also got in this energy now as I record this. So this is a timeless reading, but as I record this, we're in Leo season. And this is the Leo card. So you could have a connection with a Leo, but this has shown me as we stand now in this energy, the masculines are gaining the courage, the confidence and the strength to move towards you to be free. And the third eye is opening. So their third eye is opening to the truth. They're starting to see. They're working on their freedom. They want to be free so they can be with you. They're seeing a different perspective. They're gaining things through fresh eyes. So they're seeing the truth. They're moving forward towards you. So this is where the connection is going. It's leading to partnership. But they know that they have to be free. Free the past. Free the things that hold them back and drag them down. And this is why they're opening their eyes to the truth. Gaining confidence to come towards you, their one, their divine truth. Because you're their truth, their light, their power. So keep being you, divine feminine. There's power here for you. And it's showing you, you know, you know this is growing. Just like that flower is growing there. So if you see white flowers today, it's a sign of your connection. If you see lions it's a sign of your connection, that your masculine is gaining strength right now. And if you see seagulls, this is showing you that they are moving towards your love, that they are opening their eyes and they are starting to see the truth about who you are and what they need to do to bring this forward into union. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile two, 807, 808, welcome pile two. So a lot of abundance flowing in for you right now and a lot of change. So your mask is seeing the truth. Wow, we've got the brown bear here, heal it. So it's very possible that your mask has healing abilities. They're in their future, they're gonna be a healer. Maybe they're a healer now, but they're working right now on healing their heart and gaining confidence, confidence and strength to move forward to you. Reflect on your qualities of inner strength fearlessness and confidence in who you are and how you can project them in the world. The bear is a support guide to support physical and emotional healing in yourself and others. So your person is going through a healing right now, a heart activation to give them strength and power to move towards you, to bring in power and to bring in strength to heal, to heal their heart and others. And the same to you, I'm missing you. I'm in sadness right now. It feels like torture to not be with you. And we're restoring the karma. What have we done? So your mask is showing you that they're working things out. They're finding the way and they're ready for a new beginning. So they know now they have to release the past. It feels like torture to not be with you. It feels painful to them when they can't look at you or wake up with you in the morning. So they say, what have we done? Why has this happened? So your masculine is going over everything in the mind, everything they've been through, all the karmic situations and all the things they need to change to move towards a new beginning. So this is showing you there's a new beginning coming in here, a new beginning that will lead towards peace. And we've got to hold your vision. 
So your masculine has a vision of what they want and they're seeing this clearly right now. And we've also got suffering in silence. So your masculine divine feminine has been suffering in silence. When they've been quiet, when they've been ignoring you or ghosting you or ignoring you in any way, it's because they've been suffering in silence. It feels like torture. They've been working out their karma. They've been working things out and they've also had a vision on you. And they've been gaining strength and understanding and starting to move into this energy of power to be able to bring in a new beginning. So the new beginning is coming in. It's moving forward. You're feeling this change. You're feeling this shift because you know the moving, moving to you. So if you see a brown bear today, this is a sign of their vision, a sign of their change, their healing and what they need to do. If you see any form of barbed wire or fencing, it's showing you the breaking free from the past, the breaking those bounds or the, the things that bound them to the past, you know, them binds that hold them back, the karmic binds. And if you see anything that feels like torture, if you see anything on the TV showing you any torture or anything in the film, they feel tortured. They're going through pain. They're releasing the struggle. So they're putting down the oars of the canoe now and they're letting the current take them where they need to go because they do have a vision of their future and their future is with you. So they need this new beginning. It's something they need. It's not what they want. They do want it, but it's something they need. So it's a want and a need, a need to feel free a need to feel powerful, a need to move forward. And this is where they currently are on their journey. So they're flying above things and they're seeing the bigger picture and they're seeing the truth and they're moving towards a new beginning. And even though there's clarity there, it's still clouded by fear because they feel sadness, they feel tortured, they're suffering in silence. So it's time they start to tell you how they feel and they're going to come towards you and show you what's gone on. They're going to show you their pain. They're going to open their heart and speak to you truthfully about all that's happened. So trust in this love. You are connected. There is a new beginning coming in and all is well. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Wow. Pile three. We've got 1226 for pile three. Welcome. So your masculine then we've got the hummingbirds for optimism. So your masculine is feeling more optimistic right now than ever. They're starting to feel more positive because they're moving towards you. So they're seeing the bigger picture. Always actively seeking the sweetest nectar, the hummingbird reminds us to forever seek out the good in life and the beauty in each day. The sweetest nectar is within. So they're starting to go within to find the answers and they're starting to open their heart. And the hummingbird is about messages, signs, communication. So I feel this is as well, messages coming through music, the sweetness of the journey and the showing you the going within to find the truth. We have grown. So your masculine has grown in the silence, grown in the separation. And they're saying to you, we have grown together. And your masculine knows there's confusion there because they're working things out. There's choices to make, decisions to make, to lead them to you. So your masculine is thinking about what to do and creating this change within them so they can be bold and make the first move. So they're moving towards you, Divine Feminine. They're preparing for change. They're gaining wisdom right now on this spiritual union. How beautiful. So they're gaining wisdom about the connection. They're gaining wisdom about the love and they respect you. And they're showing you in this card mutual respect when you put your heads together. It's a sign of mutual respect. It's really powerful because in Peter Rabbit, the film, the rabbits, when they're sorry, they put their heads together. And it's a sign of respect. And this is what the angels are showing you. Forehead, so where the third eye is, the pineal gland. So this is where the respect is, the healing, the divine love. So it's the power of the connection. You come together. You feel each other. You know who you are. So this is about divine union. So right now your masculine is showing you that they are gaining wisdom to move towards union. They're gaining strength and confidence to be bold and make the first move because they're making decisions. You're in their mind, they're thinking, they're working out what to do and they're working through the confusion. They're working through the pain and they're gaining optimism. They see the sweetness of this journey and the sweetness of you. 
So trust this is really powerful, the things are moving forward for you. And I feel this coming in. You know, it's been happening since July there with the Seven of Cups. And it's going on until February. I feel Valentine's Day, you're going to be celebrating it together. So a lot of beautiful energy flowing in here. If you see the hummingbird, if you see this amazing cup here, or if you see anything that shows you choices, your masculine is showing you the truth that they are making decisions to move forward to you. Have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.